Back at it like a crack addict, y'all. So today I am trying out this new latte makeup trend. I know I'm late to the party, but better late than never. So I'll put a few photos of this latte makeup on the screen so you guys can see. To me, it's just like neutral makeup, little glowy. I seen different like videos on it, so I'm gonna just do my version of it. Um, so I got all my products laid out. So to do this eye makeup, I'm going to use the Beats by Debs in the Buff palette. Isn't this beautiful, y'all? Look at the glitter. I've been using this since she um created this palette, but it's so beautiful. All the nudes that you will really ever need. Definitely black girl friendly, y'all. So get this palette, okay? And her Color for Days palette. So I'm also going to be featuring in this video. I'm also going to be using Made by Mitchell's Neutral Color Case. Because look at this. I used this before. Oh, yes. I love it. So, I, I want to prime. So, I'm going to I'm going to use... So, to prime, I am going to use my P. Louise Base in Rumor 5. So, let's do that. And I'm just going to really wing this look. I'm definitely going to use shimmer. I have not used shimmer in forever. I've been doing, like, matte looks. So, it's time to bring the shimmer and um this palette has shimmers as well so I am primed and ready so I don't even know how I'm gonna start this look off y'all um I want let's start off with hot chocolate so I'm gonna start off with this shade hot chocolate I just wanted to show y'all something I have a whole clear bin of clean brushes and I just been procrastinating on separating the brushes so now I'm just like pulling out trying to figure out what brush I need right on the outer corner So now I want to take this shade called Sunburned. If it feels like it has like a little bit of an orange tint to it. So I want to take that. Okay. All right. So and then I'm just going to put this around here. Y'all, y'all see the pigment of this palette? Yeah. This palette is it. Okay and it's affordable in my opinion okay because nowadays neutral palettes are going for 70. i'm looking at you patrick ta so i'm just gonna kind of put it like right here i'm gonna probably stop it kind of like right there i'm gonna just stop it i'm gonna go back to it so pretty Y'all, how do you guys feel about makeup trends? Because, like, trends change so fast as soon as they start. So, it's like, I don't really be trying to get on the bandwagon. Because, like, one day this thing's popular, the next day it's not. I just do whatever makeup that makes me feel good. I mean, I'll try a, tr you know, trend if I like it or if I think it's, like, you know, cute or whatever. But, overall, I think, because, as you, like, 2016 makeup is different than 2023 makeup you know so it's like it's just amazing how makeup evolves this clean makeup this strawberry makeup with the pink under eyes it's just ugh, makeup is always evolving and it's like sometimes it's gonna be hard to keep up especially as a content creator so that's why I don't even try to I don't even try to I just if I see the the trend on the TikTok with Instagram and I'm like oh that looks nice I'll I'll try it that's it but you know I just overall just do the makeup that makes me nice but y'all so I started my makeup game doing color and um I just turned 24 last month and I feel like there's been a switch I'm like I had did a neutral look I think last 
streak or something i'll post the look i didn't i'll post the look up here and i actually thought i liked it because normally i don't like myself when it comes to um neutral makeup i only like i only like the pictures like i only like the way my makeup turns out if it's colorful like bright eyes the you know but i had a beautiful i did a beautiful neutral look and it turned out really good um so i'm like oh gosh please don't tell me that i'm already outgrowing colors please don't tell me that because i am getting older and i kind of figure that once i hit 30 i probably wouldn't be that much into color because you know just i don't know just feel like something i'll outgrow but i'm like oh lord please don't tell me i'm outgrowing colors but no i think i think it's fine i just think that um i gotta just get back into you know just playing with more color which i have if you guys watched my latest video if you haven't check that out after this one but yeah so so because my isolated space in my opinion is small and i wear glasses when i'm not filming i like to always take my color up to my brow like you know brow bone but that's me you don't have to do that so that's like my reason and also if you don't have many eyeshadows you can also use your powder bronzer to um create this look or even just to put some type of definition in your eyes when like for everyday makeup look you can use your bronzer see ooh, this is so pretty so i'm just gonna leave it right there okay i want to take this I'm trying to figure out what shade i want to take this color i think it's caramel from the um mitchell palette and i'm going to just add on i'm gonna add some of this on top like this so i'm just gonna um let's see so this dries down matte but i still want to like put a powder eyeshadow on top so long longevity for my um my um sh glitter shadow my you know the shimmer so it doesn't like crease quick you know because my eyes crease so quick something like this so now i'm going to go back in with hot chocolate on the outer like that And then, so then we're going to take, I want to take this color. It's called Bleached Knots. So, taking this color, Bleached Knots. And then, I'm putting it right there. Putting it right there. Make sure like it's kind of blended. It's not like a straight line, you know? for shimmer this is one shimmer focus sorry y'all this thing is not focusing it's that and then we have gleaming these look the same these kind of look similar and then we have rich these are all kind of like goaty Oh, and then we have Blondie, which I might do Blondie. It's more of a silver. It's, it's more of a silver. I think we might do that. So taking Blondie, because it's like more silvery. And one the lid. Oops. This is why I do eyes first, y'all. Because of fallout. This I always recommend to do eyes first unless you are a pro and you know how to clean up the fallout. Ooh, 
that's really pretty oh this is so pretty oh that is so pretty can y'all like really see look at the fallout but I don't care about fallout because I do my eyes first so I'm just letting you know that some shimmers and stuff has that okay so I'm taking the black in the palette and just making a small wing So I cleaned it up. Now, what I noticed for this trend that for the waterline people are using black, I I feel like black closes my eyes and I kind of like, you know, more nude. But for the sake of the trend, I'm going to do a black waterline. Listen, using P. Louise paint in the shade Feed Black. Listen, I love these paints because they stay in my waterline for a long time, okay? Let's put on some mascara. So, for lashes, um, I'm going to do something in the middle between big and small. So, like, definitely medium. Because, listen, I don't like those little girl. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not little girl, but I just don't like small lashes, y'all. I just, like, really don't like them. So, y'all, this, ooh, this is, this is doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are perfect. Y'all, so I am back. Lashes is on. I did a little bit of color correcting. Um, Elf Camo Color Corrector, $4. I don't really like to spend too much on color correctors, but yeah. Underneath the eyes, a little bit around the mouth. So, to get a little bit of a glow, I don't use this too much. I don't know why. I actually really like this product. Charlotte Tillsbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, shade 6.5. So, and I like that it has a wand. And um, Elf has a dupe. So, if this is too much for you, Elf has a dupe. I have not personally tried the dupe. So, I can't say if it's a good dupe. I heard it is. But, you know, I am very, I'm very picky when it comes to certain stuff. So, so what I'm going to do is just blend this out. And you can also wear this by itself. Or you can wear it underneath foundation. So and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to wear this underneath foundation because I actually like coverage. So I'm a coverage girl. Full coverage me, okay? Because this is definitely a light you know, type of coverage. Literally just a glow thing. And if you are interested in trying this out, they do have travel sizes of these um, uh, glow thing, whatever you want to call it, Hollywood Flawless Filter. Fortunately, I don't think they are selling this foundation anymore. I mean, if you can find your shade at Ulta or on the Beauty Bakery website, that's different. But from what I hear, they're no longer producing this foundation. But... I'm still going to use it because this is actually in my top five fave foundations. Beauty Bakery Insta Bake. I'm shade 317W. It really is a good formula. It sucks that they are discontinuing it. Whew. But I didn't like the packaging because it wasn't travel friendly. Because, you know, this is easy to spill. It's not like they have a, a thing where you can kind of like, you know, like a little lock thing. So I did not like the packaging, but the formula was good. So this is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Concealer in 420. 420 is actual my complexion shade, not highlight shade. Yeah, so see, it's a lot darker. I'm going to take that first to, of course, get rid of that orange color corrector. Now to highlight, I'm going to use this Makeup by Mario against my better judgment because I don't think I like this concealer, but I'm going to try it again. Um, Shade... Oh gosh, 460. I just feel like it says natural finish, but I feel like it always gives me a luminous finish. I think this is like my third time trying it. I did a wear test. It was I, but I don't know. For some reason, it's just not impressing me. I hope the House Labs, um, concealer that's coming out impresses me. So I'm going to just leave that right there. 
it's not too bright which is fine because I can always take my BFF pink honey bronzer uh shade hazelnut this this is really good so taking this Fenty 125 brush and oh yeah this is perfect y'all I still have to get the contour version pink honey came out with the contour version and I need to get it that beauty bay I just I'm just waiting to get it I don't know I really should get it so I can review it because I know it's already been out for weeks now but it's a UK brand and you got to pay for shipping and stuff but yes I recommend these bronzers so much so oh listen oh listen this look is coming together this look is really coming together oh yes oh before we move on to any powder let's do cream or liquid blush let me figure out what i'm gonna do so this is the juvia's place liquid blush in the shade dahlia so i'm gonna put it on my hand a little bit y'all see so this is right this is it i'm gonna put a little bit a little bit on my cheek so i'm just gonna like pat into my hand i normally don't put stuff on my hand like this but oh yeah that was a good idea to do is it let me just switch to the other side okay okay so for setting powder i'm gonna do my hourglass setting powder and translucent deep i've just been using this non-stop Okay, so I still feel like I'm keeping that glow even with all the powder. So, um, bronzer. Now, normally I would gravitate to my Juvia's Place Duo, but let me, um, let me play with something else. So, the one size, um, bronze and sculpt trio. And what we're gonna do is, we are gonna, I'm gonna mix these two colors. two colors and this is the shade dark trio y'all just in case y'all was wondering dark trio and I think he has a shade after this Ooh, this is really coming good Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I guess we are going to stick with the uh one size theme because we're going to use his blush trio in Rich Bitch. Okay? And we are going to use the middle shade. Or well, I'm going to use the middle shade. And I'm going to use the same brush cuz I like this brush. This is for cream and powder, Morphe R46, y'all. So check that out. And I'm just going to Just use the middle shade to just put on top of that Dahlia. If I didn't tell you guys, this is Dahlia for the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush. I didn't, I didn't know if I told y'all. So. Ooh, this connect my blush to my eyes. So like that. But you don't have to do that. Like, please don't feel like you gotta do that. That's just me being extra. So I'm gonna add a I'm gonna add hot chocolate to the bottom lash line. Just a little bit. Like I don't because I know I can go out of control. So I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. I don't wanna get too crazy messing around, so so lippy nyx lip liner in the shade hot cocoa and then fenty cream gloss in the shade cookie jar this made the look this is an also great fall look as well fall's coming up baby do this look on date night going to the pumpkin patch you know going to a hunted house 
listen i did that i like this look let me know what you guys think of the latte trend let me know what you guys think of how i did my version of latte even though i don't even drink those um and i will see y'all or y'all will see me in the next one